All right, since we have our basics covered, let's jump into YouTube. Now, assume you have an account, log in. And uh, I've logged in here. I know I'm logged in because my account is killer PHP. And what you want to do is you want to look for this upload video button. So I click on that and this upload video screen will appear. So uh, you got some instructions here and uh, they make it easier. But so we click upload and I'm going to choose my YouTube upload demo video here. I click OK. So immediately YouTube starts uploading the video and you see the time remaining, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. While you're doing that, while YouTube is doing that, rather, you have options of changing title, adding description, adding tags, selecting a category, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select a category of education, and here's the one that you got to look at: privacy. If you want to embed your YouTube videos in your website, you have to share your videos with the world. If you make it private, you will not be able to embed the videos. I'm going to make it private since this is a private channel and this is kind of a, just a dummy video. So I don't want everybody to save it. So I can save changes while it's still uploading. If I scroll up, you see it's still uploading. So the uploading process can take some time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video, which will be instantaneous for you while this uh, continues on. Okay, our video has been uploaded and even gives us our embed code right here. But before I do that, I just want to show you what happens next. Now, though the the video has been uploaded, it's not ready for broadcast. So let me show you. So we go to Killer PHP. That would be your account name. Now, of course, I wouldn't say Killer PHP. And if we look at our videos down here, and you see uploaded processing so though we've uploaded a video it's still not ready to show this can take anywhere from five minutes to 20 minutes or longer depending on the length of your video and depending on how busy youtube is so right now it's not really seeable but if i click on it if you look up you see video not processed yet so we'll have to wait for that so let's just go back to uh, my videos and what I did is earlier I uploaded this video here you notice that it's set to private as well just like uh, the one we just uploaded right I set it to private because I just don't want people to see on this active channel since these are just dummy videos so let me just press play here so we can see the video and I can see it because I'm logged in, but the general public can't see it. Let me show you. It's so easy. You know, we've seen this before. So let me show you what this looks like in an embed page. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I have this web page I created, and I did embed that particular video. So here we go. Now, this is a different browser. It's Microsoft here. And I have it logged in to my YouTube account. So this video is an embed from that non-public video. So watch what happens when I try to view it. So that's why you have to make your videos public if you want to use the embed feature. All right, we're, we're back at YouTube. Oh, you can see that the last video we put up, it says it's live. So let's take a look at what that looks like. And yes, it is indeed live, but if you can see, it's really a crappy quality. That's to be expected. If you look up here, the video is like, it's still being processed. So this is sort of like an earlier crappy quality thing that they put out for you. Go back to my videos. I'll show you that same video, but fully rendered. So you can see the, what it looks like once it's in uh, full quality. As you can see, once it's fully rendered, we got a much nicer looking video. All right, we got the uploading done. So let's look at the embedding process. So if you scroll over, well, I'm gonna scroll over here on the uh, right hand side, you see beside the video, you got this URL and you got embed. This is what you wanna look at is embed. Now, if I click on this button here, I can customize the look of the uh, actual embedded video. It's pretty powerful. So you can set the dimensions, the color of the uh, control bar down here. All kinds of stuff. It's pretty cool. You can include related videos, blah, blah, blah. You can look at these different uh, 
different options. But once you pick the option that's suitable for you, um, you just click inside the embed box and you uh, control click or right click on PC and you copy this code. And now you take that code and you just stick it in your web pages. I'm going to just jump in there now. I've actually done it before, so here it is. Here's a very simple web page. Here's the embed code, and uh, that's all you have to do. That's uh, that's why YouTube really makes it easy to embed videos into your web pages. You can even use YouTube to embed, of course, into your blog. So here's a WordPress blog. Here's that video. It looks familiar. Here's that branding I was talking to you about, right? That's what you're gonna have to contend with, but. You got full video, very high quality, if you upload it in quality, and uh, you don't have to pay for the bandwidth and you don't have to jump through any hoops. So to quickly recap, I uh, showed you how to upload a video. So I showed you that the video should be made public, not private. I showed you that you had embed options with this, uh, let's maximize this here. With this button here, you click that button, you got your embed options. We go back and uh, we cut and pasted the code. I showed you code, what it looks like in the web page right here. Also showed that you can use this code in blogs. And um, yeah, I demonstrated a video on uh, killer sites. Here it is. Oh, you're not, on, you're not on camera frame here. Here we go, here it is. And there you go. One thing you can do, actually, you can go to full screen here. And it's uh, it's not super clear, but it's uh, it's not bad, too.